Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Rome 2, Hannibal at the Gates. Now, we are fighting the Vascones and we will hopefully wipe them out in this part. We've taken the capital city of Aruna, all they have left is Portus, Amanon and Burdigala over there in the far north. We take that out, that will be the end of them, squash our enemies. Although, I do believe they have... Yes, there it is. They have an em enemy army here, currently in forced march, and they have a secondary army here. Now, if you want a quick look on my faction, I can recruit two more armies. Now, I'm wondering whether... Oh, I haven't got any... Ah, oh, because of my treasury. That's a fail. What I was going to say was, I would, if I had the money, I would raise an army here, hire some mercenaries, and then jump and try and attack one of these armies and take them out but unfortunately I'm at the end turn phase from last time and there isn't enough funds to do that. Um, meanwhile over here in the previous episode we took Emporii as well so that was pretty cool it was very good indeed and we can now push forward perhaps take Tolosa and then Nemausus and if we look on the strategic overview we take both of them we will pretty much have all of Gallia Transalpina I think there's one up here which we don't know about but we'll discover that and then most of Iberia and most of Gaul which is in this map will be ours I will then be looking to take on Carthage and I'll try to go on Rome's good side as well to have an ally if possible but anyway I think we can probably end turn yeah I think we're okay to end turn We'll see what happens now in this end turn phase. Carthage, Rome. Etruscan League. Some knights. That's all right. <laughs> oh man, this is quite funny. So, they want peace yet again, and they're willing to offer me 1,300. I'm going to do a counter offer. I wonder if they will join in a confederation. You see, this isn't acceptable. I want this confederation. That's my offer. Okay, fine. Attack me if you will. Probably will. I spoke too soon, they most probably will. <laughs> uh oh. No? Maybe? Nope, they didn't attack me. Oh, rebels. Rebel scum. Oh shit. Right, we have a battle on our hands. Oh my. We. Auto resolve doesn't look good for us, does it? Let's see. Wouldn't win on the auto resolve. We outnumber them, but we have terrible units, tribesmen all the way, apart from three skirmishers against spearmen, guerrilla warriors, Iberian cavalry. We will fight this, so I shall see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So I have three groups all together. One of them is a skirmisher group, which I could actually tidy up. Let's see. Oh, that's not very good. How about here? That's slightly better, that'll do. <laughs> Just defend these bloody walls! I'm going to flank with my spearman, I think. Do I want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Flank with the secondary group. This third group I've blobbed in completely, as you can see when I zoom in by here. All of them are in... Uh, Shield screen, I couldn't remember what it's called then, whether it's spear wall or shield screen. The enemy seems to be moving up with most of their Scutari spearmen. Now, unfortunately for me, Scutari spearmen are quite the beast in Iberia, so we are going to have to be careful. Skirmishers! Warriors, eager! They're actually attacking me from a different flank. I was hoping they'd go to this flank, so I'm going to actually pull out with these, I think. Do I want to do that? I don't think I do. No, we want to come up here, don't we? Do we, don't we? I don't know. Pathfinding's playing up a little bit. Let's go there for now. And let's see what we can do here is attack them. Shit, attack the attack the uh, cavalry. Get in there. If I can take out the cavalry, I, I fancy our chances get the anti-cavalry tactics going. Oh, we're losing some 
some skirmishers. It's a shame. Oh, where's their general? I want to take the general out. Oh, he tied him back there. If I could take the general, that would be that would be pretty cool. Let's try to counterattack a tribesman. Oh shit! This isn't going well. This isn't going well. Shit. I'm gonna get my miss my missile troops to to aim for the general. Tribesmen are holding out. Apart from this unit, which is doing quite quite terribly at the moment. Probably gonna lose that unit and I'm happy to camp well Ah we don't wanna camp, we wanna move out don't we? What am I on about? Camping. Camping so what's we're not gonna camp. Where's my general? Is he dead? No he's not. Doesn't have any abilities because he's a garrison, unfortunately for me. Not a very good garrison either. Okay in numbers but terrible in in everything else. Take three units to flank there. Let's get one to flank there. Oh, we're losing this terribly. This is what happens when you've got tribesmen. Bloody crap. Bloody crap. Skirmishers. Anti cavalry tactics. Or counter tactics. Oh man, this isn't going well, is it? Let's just keep running away with this unit, I think. Let's try our best to get as many hits on them as possible. Oh, the general isn't a thingy unit. We'll go for a shield screen instead. And the skirmishers can attack the general from there. Oh man, we've lost this battle. Didn't really feel confident about this battle, to be honest with you. There we go. Hitting them over the head. Doing very little damage. Number 57. Skirmishers. Get some more shots on the Scutari Spearmen. Try to weaken them as best as possible, then I can perhaps try and take them out with a secondary army if possible. Skirmishers. We'll kill them all. Ah oh man, this is terrible. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Not good, guys. Ready for the battle. Tribes man. Ah fuck. I'm gonna fast forward this. One unit left, what's the point? Here we are. End battle. Only lost 183. Oh god. Oh it's terrible. Oh man, right. I need to take this town. I need to retake this place. Palantia. There we go. Edict cancelled because of that. That's not good. I need to retake Palantia. Now what do I have nearby to retake it? Not a lot, I don't think. Oh, I've got this army. Ah, I see this is irritating then because I wanted to use this army to... Ah, and I can hit them in force march. Um, how am I going to do this, guys? Alright, I know what I'm going to do. For this army, you can reach this this turn, I think. Maybe. No, fuck that. Only a little bit to stop him. Otherwise, I would have attacked this turn with this army. Well, that's going to give them something to think about anyway. Now, this army, the champions of Ebora, are going to go back to Palantia and retake it for me. And just kill these rebels. Could auto resolve. I might actually auto resolve. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna auto resolve this. Keep the campaign flowing. Protective stance. Boom! Rebellion over. Right. Occupy. They destroyed again. We taken Palantia. Edict? Why can't I do an edict? That's weird. If I click off it, maybe. I, what the hell is this? Ah, oh, Portus Aminum. But I didn't hold Portus Aminum beforehand, so... Oh, I don't know. Guys, something's bullshitting me by here. Don't know what it is. Some unfortunate bullshit, no doubt. Right, this army is weak. 9 out of 20. This army can probably catch them, I think. Ah, oh, look at that. Only one turn... One pot... Uh, one move away from doing it. 
I do actually have money to build a secondary army here in Numantia. So let's go. I want to go for the cheapest guy possible. So we're going to go for Cassicios or Cassicos. Oh, we go for Noble Cav. For the tribe. And they have Scutari, Spearmen, Swordsmen, Cavalry, and a Scorpion. How much can I afford? Sell the gas. I could probably do it just cavalry. Yeah, if I could do this with cavalry. Let's see. How much cavalry? One of them. Two units of cavalry, I think. Slingers. Let's see. 594. I like the Scutari. I think we could do it with this army. Should we find out? Ah, oh, I can't reach. What is up with the movement points? Movement points are crap. Anyway, I got an army. I know it's going to cost me a lot with the mercenaries for now, but I was hoping to catch them while they're in. Ah, fuck's sake. <laughs> it's always something. It's always something. Navy there. See, the Volkai of. Oh, hang on. Gallic Confederation? Holy shit. Gallic Confederation has. Are we at war with them? No, we're not. But they don't like us. We need to be happy with them. The Volkai gone, I thought. The Volkai are gone, right. That's interesting. Oh, they want an aggression pact. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm going to have to be careful with the Gallic Confederation. Who are they at war with? Let's find out. No one, right. So they don't know with no one at the moment. They have all, all of this, by it seems, a thing. Prop some, some of this as well. I don't know. Oh, Rome is, might be able to trade with me. I don't know. Let's find out. Trade. Ooh, moderate. You utter prick. So if I offer you bugger all, okay. Never mind that, my good old friends. Vasconez. Now will you join a confederation? Oh, you bastards. They will offer me money for peace, but I want their land, so. <coughs> I could just take the peace then and attack them when they least expect it, but. It's more fun this way, I think. I like having a bit of warfare going on. I just bloody... Ugh. Mind you, saying that, we got an army next to Numantia. Numantia got a pretty good garrison. We have an army here with a garrison. We have an army here with a garrison. So if any of these armies attack me, I should be okay. I think I can most probably end turn. Oh, what is this? You may still issue an edict in one of your entirely controlled provinces. Okay, so... What is this bullshit? Because... I don't own this. I said I can issue an edict. I own these, but public order is fine. Uh, let's see, to let them Libisoa. Artuba is okay with me at the moment. I don't own that anyway. The capital, Odisipo, Helmantica, Ebora, that's a possibility. A little bit of lag, not very good for the soul. I think we will probably go for this one because it is the one with the lowest public order and we'll go for some bread and games because the plebs need their bread and now I think I can finally end turn and the lagging in this game is bloody annoying I've actually updated my NVIDIA driver so I'm now running the latest uh, version which I think is is it 7, 7, 5? something like that Anyway, um, it's supposed to increase performance for Rome 2 by 65%, I think. Oh, 62%, sorry. And I haven't really seen that increase, to be honest with you. I think it's a lot of bullshit. Uh-oh, what is this? Holy mackerel. Right, so they are attacking me here with uh, pretty much everything they have. And I'm going to run away like a little girl because I don't want to... Oh, fuck off, you bastards. Okay, so only three armies this time. That's better. One... And one of them's only got one general. Two of them got one general. So it's like fighting a full stack. I think we can do this. Cav lots of cavalry. Okay, I'll see you all on the battle map. Hello everybody and welcome back. So we are just starting off this battle here. I have grouped up my units and they are going into position very quickly for me indeed. Once I see the general, I am going to aim everything for him with my ballista. And hopefully wipe the poor bastard out. And there he is, right. Ballista, go straight for the general. Weaken him once he is dead, then the morale will affect the whole army and we can clear up with all our cav. 
my men are just getting into position and they are in position as a matter of fact I'm gonna how am I gonna do this warriors eager for battle doing lots and lots of damage I think doing some damage at least that's good not the best position ah actually it's not too bad it's not too bad I'm actually going to tilt some of these units. The cavalry, I don't like being outflanked like this. Holy shit, right. We can eat all the cavalry up like so. I have to react quickly to this. Holy shit, this isn't how I planned this last night in bed. This is weird. Warriors, eager for battle. Shit. Why is my general got a good traits? You should have some decent traits. Warriors, you got a full battle. Oh, this is going terribly. Right, the cavalry's doing well at least. I right, pull out and go for the slingers, please. Come on. Shit, chop, chop. Go for those slingers. Ballista, let's get the general. Shit, what's happened? Okay, I've lost my ballista. <laughs> Feel the artillery ready. Oh, I can't get to the general, can I? Oh, my old man, no. Oh, I think I hit my old man. Okay, we won't do that anymore. Get in there, you fools. My general's in a bad place. Oh my god, my cavalry, come on. There we go, there we go, that's good. We're not doing very well, though, are we? Oh, I've lost my general. Fuck, how the hell am I doing this? What is going up? What's going wrong with me today? Ballista! Outmaneuvered by the AI. Shit. Field artillery! Well, this certainly ruins things for me. Warriors! Shit. Battle ready and the guard. My cav's doing pretty well, but I don't think I can win this battle with just cavalry. Malista. I was hoping to take the general out, but he. Oh, we got him half down anyway. Get one of these units to go for the slingers over there. Can I do this with three units of cav? I don't think I can. Turn and charge, turn and charge. Ah, oh, fuck, we lost. There they go. Bollocks. Bollocks, 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 and more bollocks. Fuck's sakes. We lost 972, they lost 758, and we deployed the exact same amount. Damn it. Only a close defeat. Oh, I still got most of my army, though. That's good. No, I haven't. That. My general. No. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, this campaign's unraveling all of a sudden. Research complete. Right then. Time to deal with more bullshit. Going to leave this province. We're going to go back for Port of Salmonin with this army. This is a pretty decent army as well. And we're going to check my technology. And what can we go for? 15 turns, melee defense, melee attack. That'd be pretty good. That's going to be useful. And morale. Right, we want that. It's going to take 15 turns, but that's going to be a good thing to go for. I'm getting terrible lag. I hope it doesn't appear that way in, in the upload of this video, because that would be a shame. I could have come out with this army and attack, but... There's no point, is there? Lots of money freed up all of a sudden for me. And probably need to use that money here, so... Mysteries, maybe? Don't have any cav. Two units of cav would be beneficial there. Got an army in Emporia, which I'll probably use to take out the Gallic Confederation in the future. If I get to that stage. Ooh, what to go for? Right. Could probably do with more mercenaries. I don't have too many mercenaries really, but now we're gonna re actually recruit this time. We'll go for some ballista. Two ballista. And some Scutari, I think. 
and probably some Iberian swordsmen. So all I can really do there. This army is fine. Don't have anything in the south now, I don't think, do I? No, I moved that army up north a couple episodes ago. Ah, Portus Amram is right there as well. Right there for the taking. Ah, this is neutral land now. I can't really walk across there unless I piss them off. Oh, it's lagging too much. My god. What the hell? Fucking weather effects. <laughs> oh my god, right. Let's try and get something from Rome. Let's get trade if possible. Please trade with me. You, bricks. What if I offer you some form of payment? How about a hundred? Damn you, damn you. Okay, that's a shame. I think I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.